How do you get passengers to put on their seat belts? So how do you get passengers to put on their seat belts right when they get in your car? Well, let's get in the driver's seat and I'll show you how. Hello, I'm Russ. What is your name? Oh, hello, I'm your next passenger. Hello, passenger, welcome. And I'm covering up the phone because I don't want them to see the name on the account. I wanna make sure it's them. Hi, how is your day going? Oh, really good. Oh, that's awesome to hear. I'm starting the trip, giving the map time to load and give them time to put on their seatbelt. And if they don't, oh, sir, don't forget to put your seatbelt on. Thank you. Oh, sure, yeah, I'll put on my seatbelt. Thanks for the reminder, I really appreciate it. And then I'll wait a little bit and let them put it on. It's pretty simple. You just wanna be polite. Hey, don't forget to put your seatbelt on. Hey, don't forget, don't forget. Hey, don't forget. And you can use this for a variety of things. Oh, hey, how's it going? I'm doing well. Oh, sir, please don't forget to put your seatbelt on. Thank you. Oh, do you have a busy day ahead of you? Well, I'll get you to your destination as safely and as quickly as I can. And oh, please don't forget to put your seatbelt on. Hello, miss. How is your day starting off? Well, that's great to hear. Oh, please don't forget to put your seatbelt on. Oh, when you get a chance, don't forget to put your seatbelt on. Oh, yes, ha ha ha. Oh, when you get a chance, please don't forget to put your seatbelt on. I do give the benefit of the doubt to some passengers who I pick up at the airport because they may come from states where you don't have to have a seatbelt on in the back, but it's an easy fix. When they complain or say anything about why they have to put a seatbelt on, you can always say, oh, I'm so sorry. Here in this state, it's a state law that all passengers have to have their seatbelts on. Thank you. And you just let them know that it's a state law. They should comply at this point. And if they don't, I think they're gonna probably be a problem for you. Oh, hey, Russ Ride, what's our ETA? How long do we have until we get there? I'm in a big hurry. I've got a lot of meetings to go to, um, Russ Ride. And you can ask them again a second time, sir, I need you to put your seatbelt on, please. Thank you. After this point though, I'd recommend canceling the ride because they're just gonna be a problem and they may initiate it on their own and ask to go in another vehicle. Thank you, I do appreciate that, Russ. The first time that you asked me to put my seatbelt on, that was helpful. But any time past that, if you have to ask me a second or a third time, uh, you really should consider canceling the trip because the best you're gonna get out of me as a passenger now is a one to four star rating guaranteed no tip, and I may even call Uber or Lyft and complain. So something to think about. And there you have it, some techniques on how to ask your passengers to be compliant with local state laws and everyone's safety. I do appreciate your attention, and please let me know in the comments below how this has been successful for you. If you also have other ideas on how to ask passengers to put on their seat belts, please let me know in the comments below as well. I do thank you, and remember, don't make excuses. Get out there. You want to be compliant with state laws. You don't want to jeopardize your safety or your passengers' safety. So thank you, and have a good day, and I'll see you in my next video.